A group calling itself the Concerned Citizens of Etiwa Forest Reserve Landscape warned government to convert the, prot uh, the uh, protected forest reserve into a national park instead of offering it up for bauxite mining. They took to a two-hour walk to protest the bauxite mining in the forest. <laughs> The concerned citizens fear their communities will be threatened if the bauxite mining is allowed. Hundreds took a peaceful protest in a two-hour walk from Sechimasi to Chebi in the Abuakwa North Municipality of the Eastern Region. The residents expressed worry bauxite mining at Nyinahini and Awaso have not benefited host communities. They intend to resist government's action to mine in the forest. Pleading with the government to leave out Atiwa Forest from the bauxite program. So Atiwa will be turned into something else, not bauxite mining. Something like a tourist attraction center. We plead with government to protect the critical water bodies in the forest. Forest, and no, and no, forest, no. The Etiwa forest protects us a lot. It serves as wind brick. If it is mined, that will bring sickness. The Etiwa protected forest reserve is 232 kilometers square. The forest reserve is endowed with critically endangered species of plants, birds, mammals, and butterflies. Three major water bodies, Birim, Ayensu, and Densu, which serve some 5 million residents, take their source from the protected forest reserve. The concerned citizens say government's intention to mine bauxite has seen the Ghana Aluminium Development Corporation make some exploration activities already. The group in its petition claimed the exploration process passed through six river bodies, which obviously meant water bodies will be affected. They also added the exploration process has destroyed an estimated 100 hectares of land area where timber and naturally occurring trees have been cut off.